Good morning. I am crucified with Christ, yet I alive. No longer I, but Christ lives in me. I live my faith in the Son of God, who has loved me and given himself up for me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Ignatius of Antioch, Bishop and Martyr. In a very special way, we celebrate this Mass also for the intention of Melvin Zeck Hagner, the deceased. And also, as you have heard today, Pope Francis has invited all of us, the Universal Church, to pray for peace all over the world but in a very special way in the Middle East. We put our trust in God because he is our source of life. No matter what is happening in the world, he is in control of it. Let us allow ourselves to ask the Holy Spirit to guide us and give us wisdom. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who adorn the sacred body of your church with the confessions of holy martyrs, grant, we pray, that just as the glorious passion of St. Ignatius of Antioch, we, which we celebrate today, brought him eternal splendor, so it may be for us an ending protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Romans. Brothers and sisters, I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes, for Jews first, then Greek. For in it is revealed the righteousness of God from faith to faith. As it is written, one who is righteous by faith will live. The wrath of God is indeed being revealed from heaven against every impiety and wickedness of those who suppress the truth by their wickedness. For what can be known about God is evident to them because God made it evident to them. Ever since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes of eternal power and divinity have been able to be understood and perceived in what he has made. As a result, they have no excuse, for although they knew God, they did not accord him glory as God or give him thanks. Instead, they became vain in their reasoning and their senseless minds were darkened. While claiming to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for the likeness of an image of mortal man or of birds or of four-legged animals, or of snakes. Therefore, God handed them over to impurity through the lusts of their hearts, for the mutual degradation of their bodies. They exchanged the truth of God for a lie and revered and worshiped the creatures rather than the creator who blessed them forever. Amen. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. 
The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out the word to day, and night to night imparts knowledge. The hand proclaims the glory of the world. Not a word nor discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds. In the ends of the world their message. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. Alleluia, alleluia. The word of God is living and effective, able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. After Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee inviting, invited him to dine at his home. He entered and reclined at table to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the, prescri the prescribed washing before the meal. The Lord said to him, O oh, you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside you are filled with plunder and evil. You fools, did not the maker of the outside also make the inside? But as so what is within, give arms, and behold, everything will be clean for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Friends, as I said in the beginning of the Mass, that uh, Pope Francis has invited all of us throughout the Universal Church and for those people of goodwill, those who can make it, they can fast and pray to pray for peace to pray for peace of what is going on around the world not only in the middle east there is another war in ukraine sudan republic of congo west africa and so forth let us make use of this day First of all, to ask for God's mercy. That as human beings, we have missed that opportunity that God has created us by his own image. No, hum no living thing have been blessed than human beings. And God, he did it purposely because he wanted us to be closer to him and to be also part and parcel of making this world a better place for all of us. But sometimes because of our own selfishness, by our own uh, gratuity, by our own pride, we find ourselves fighting each other. Each one has its own reasons, but sometimes those reasons are not the key of bringing us together as family. They're not the key for bringing us as sons and daughters of God. And we have lost the track. And we find ourselves now, we are vulnerable. And we find ourselves, instead of seeing each other with the image of God, now that image is no longer there. We can say, oh, it's up to them there. But the war which is happening all over the world, it affects the whole world. What is happening in the Middle East is going to affect all of us. 
Imagine what happened eh, in uh, Chicago. The landowner just started eh, killing the child because of their differences. And now it's going to spread simply because of the religion issues. The problem is not small, it's big, because it affects all of us. Let us pray for all the leaders, especially in the Middle East, to resolve this issue in a very mutual way, to accept that forgiveness can lead us to God. And to continue to allow ourselves that God show us the way. Send the Holy Spirit to give us wisdom. Because any time the war will not bring us into a right justification. Those people are affected and most of the time are children, women, and the elderly. Let us pray for those people so that God may continue to give them safety, but also to bring them into the unity and to remember that we are sons and daughters of God. Hate, anger, war will not bring us to God. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, you have showed us the way that you came to this world to bring peace and justice. And for this, we pray. For us to embrace that our true citizenship is in heaven and that our lives here should be a reflection of our heavenly Father, we pray to the Lord. For us to embrace the challenges in our lives as opportunities to draw closer to the Lord and be more closely united to Christ our Savior, we pray to the Lord. For our Catching Fire youth and volunteers to be energized by the knowledge that they are loved unconditionally by God, we pray to the Lord. For this afternoon's blessing of the new parish office to bring blessings beyond today and appreciation for our Ascension family's faith and generosity, we pray to the Lord. For an end of the fighting in Israel, Ukraine, and all areas of the world that do not know peace, may the peace of Christ enter their hearts to resolve the unrest, we pray to the Lord. For us to hear as Christ hears, see as Christ sees, and love as Christ loves, we pray to the Lord. Now let us pray, let us me pray the prayer for the Synod on Solidarity. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name, with you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts, teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who art work in every pleasant time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the Lord accepts sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good as well as the whole church. May this oblation and our homage be pleasing to you, O Lord, just as you accepted St. Ignatius, the wheat of Christ, made pure bread through his martyrdom and passion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just to our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord our Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Ignatius, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in your weakness you perfect your power, and on the fable bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we are claim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the youthful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the choice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of Hope and Bill, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Melvin Zekchina, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that he was united with your son in a death like his, 
may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in all mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O oh, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and all honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours both now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said it to your apostles, of peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be to you. Thank you so much. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless those called to the sup of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
I am the wheat of Christ to be ground by the teeth of the priest that I may be found to be pure bread. Let us pray. May the heavenly bread we have received, O Lord, on this feast day of St. Ignatius renew us, we pray, and make us Christians in name and in deed, through Christ our Lord. Amen. I want to say thank you for Jim, Dick, and Cindy, but at the same time to say thank you for all of you. First of all, for coming and participate with me for this Mass, but in a very special way to pray for peace all over the world. And even for those who are watching online also, I say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. Let us continue to pray for peace. This peace which God has given us is a precious peace. No one can provide, can give us. So let us come and strengthen our unity and try to talk in a mutual understanding, to take out our anger, to take out our differences, to take out our envy, but all to bring us love, forgiveness, perseverance and endurance, and to have also a big heart to see each other as sons and daughters of God. By doing that, we'll find that peace God has promised all of us. And where there is peace always, there is love. And where there is love always, people are cherished each day. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ.